Welcome back, everyone. And if you're new here, welcome. I am just shining, and today we're going to be watching TikTok scary stories. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and ring that bell so you'll be notified every time I make a video. Okay, so I lived in Salem, Massachusetts for a little bit under a year. And I'm a spooky girl, okay? My mom is a spooky girl. My mom gave me my first deck of tarot cards when I was in the seventh grade, and she also gave me her original Parker Brothers Ouija board. I'll get there. If you can handle long-form content, I'll get there. So, like, I can pick up on the vibes of places, like, very easily. Like, when I was touring apartments in Salem, like, I know the whole thing with the town is, like, completely commercializing, like, an absolute atrocity that happened. But, like, that shit's no fucking joke. So, like, some of- one of the apartments we toured was actually in Gallows Hill, which is right off, uh, 95, like, next to the cemetery. Um, and I walked in, and the vibes were sinister. Um, and I asked the realtor, I was like, do you think this apartment's haunted? Knowing full fucking well it was. And he was like, would you want it if it was? And I was like, no. Maybe but I did not end up going with that apartment. I went with a different one and I got like, I knew that there were presences, plural, because this building was built in 1875 and is super old. Um, so before we even move a single thing, not a suitcase, not a piece of furniture, we unlock the door and open it and there's like a glass orb on the ground and we were both like what is that my partner goes to pick it up and i'm like can i see it and they were like no it's mine which is very out of character for them um and they were like i'm so sorry i don't know what that was here you go and i look at the orb and there's a tiny l scratched into the orb and i was like oh you're so right l for liam this is yours and let me say i am ignorant enough to bring a ouija board into a haunted apartment. But I am not ignorant enough to say that that fucking orb leaves the apartment because that shit stays right here. And so from that point on, I was like, okay, they like Liam. It's still sort of a toss up on me. Um, and when I brought the Ouija board in, I didn't notice it as at first, but it just felt so crowded in the room that it was in and it just felt more and more crowded the closer you would get to the Ouija board. Like, I didn't use it, but they knew it was there. And then I go to rehab, as one does, and I come back and I'm like, get this fucking shit out of my apartment. Somewhere in between that span of time and after I got it out, I think it was just too late for me, I got into two car accidents within the span of less than 60 days, and I was not at fault for either of them. So I gave them to a friend, put it in safe hands, and she got into two car accidents. But after the Ouija board was gone, like, it was sort of quieting down, but it was like the typical haunted house, like, stuff. Like, we'd be sitting in our bedroom and we'd hear, like, chairs scooching around in the kitchen or, like, m stuff moving around, like, coming back into a room being like, I didn't put that there. And there were also, like, weird bumps and noises coming from the walls and from the ceiling. But whenever you take out your phone to try and record it, of course it stopped. And I know for a fact that this was happening to the tenant below me because they contacted my landlady and they were like, hey, there are weird noises coming from upstairs and from like in the walls. My landlady texts me and she's like, do you have like any appliances running or something? And I was like, no, I have a noise machine. Um, so a maintenance guy comes in to and finds nothing. Of course. And then, like, closer to me moving out of the apartment, um, I had a really horrible nightmare. I have night terrors, okay? I have them less now that I'm not living in that apartment slash working retail, but I've had some fucking horrifying nightmares. But in this stream, the tenant who lives above me was like, oh, it's a good thing you weren't home last night because Eleanor was really trying to get in. And I was like, who the fuck is that? And then I just have this vision of this woman who's either, I don't know if it's a nightdress or a hospital gown, like banging on the door being like, let me in, let me in, that shit. I woke up 
cold fucking sweat and i knew i was like this has something to do with the property and i don't know what and i was too much of a weenie to ask my upstairs neighbor about it but i did some independent snooping and so apparently that house um was built by nicholas noise n-o-y-e-s who upon further inspection was the colonial minister that oversaw the salem witch trials um he owns property in salem and also danvers because danvers was old salem and so i was like mm, can't be good who the fuck is eleanor though look down the family tree she died in 2010. yeah on a separate note i would like to thank the witch who gave me some crystal advice um and now i can't go anywhere without this there is really so much to this i forgot to add um that whenever i would shower my showers even if they started hot they would always end cold um or they wouldn't get hot at all um and my partner was like i don't have that problem and they've showered right after me and it hasn't been a problem and if i showered with them in the room it wasn't a problem it's just so bizarre just don't fuck around with ouija boards I just just don't and Caitlin if you're seeing this I will text you my address um so you can mail that to me because I'm I'll be damned if I'm taking that shit on a plane <laughs> I feel like I have to be buried with it or something like I, I can't I can't get rid of it so just keep that shit wrapped in white cloth I guess girl that just made me think I used to be a mail carrier, bruh. I could have been carrying something like that in my mail, in my truck with me, bruh. In my girl, girl. I was just thinking about all the stuff I have delivered before that I knew that it was what I was delivered. I've delivered an arm before. Girl, girl. Delivered some chickens, crickets. I've delivered some stuff. I could have been delivering something that I did not know I was delivering that I didn't even want to touch. Girl, that is too much. So yeah, friend, um, what? <laughs> what? You go into this, you know it's haunted because you know they ain't going to tell you. They're they, they not going to tell you unless it's going to raise the price. They're going to get a commission. So you go, it's a haunted ha It's a haunted apartment. You see something on the ground with, or your your partner picks it up and it completely changes them mm, i don't want to see that i don't want to touch that you need to go get a cleanse now somebody else gotta come pick this up <laughs> in fact put it back down we're leaving we're gonna break our lease it's just been day one we're, we can still leave we can still leave honey because no i'm not going to do it i'm not going to play with it. i'm not entertaining that you say your mama gave you some cars when you was 15 all this other stuff you want to know something which I thought we're gonna we're, we're just gonna build through it. Walk with me, okay? We're gonna go through this. So change your friend. You said that that it was theirs. It was theirs. They they liked them. They liked them, okay? Assuming it was a man, liked them. Okay, cool, got it. So you you bring in the Ouija board, and that room is all heavy now. I don't even know why you brought, but do you boo? We're we're still walking. We're still walking. You're seeing that you did your research after you done moved in. I don't know what we know. We done said this already. Y'all ain't doing y'all's job. Y'all supposed to be telling these people everything we learned in these videos. You need to tell these people, tell your friends, tell your family. You do your research before you go anywhere that's an old place. It, you you do your research okay honey okay we, we, we want to know we want to know what we're preparing for so we can be prepared we're gonna stay prepared so we don't got to be prepared so we don't get got so you do your research and find out that it's the head of whatever you said ministry i don't know what you said but the salem witch trials oh i forgot to say what we first heard when she said salem my ears perked up because i already knew what was going on i already knew what was going on so we found out it's the head of whoever who was killing witches now you already said that you a spooky bitch and you've always been a spooky bitch. Your mom is spooky. And all this, you already said this. And then you put in little tidbits of, oh, wish this. Oh, shout out to the wish who did this. Shout out to the wish that gave me crystals. You see where I'm going? You see where I'm heading? They didn't like you because they thought you was a witch, boo. And he used to burn witches. 
So that's why all that stuff happened to you. Because they thought you was a witch. You might be a witch, bro. You might be a witch. And then you then gave it to somebody else, which they were just like, they got the, the bad fortune that you you got, you had, you just passed it on. And they was just like, oh, this is a witch. Girl, what is happening? I do, uh, I guess it's easier for me because I'm on the outside. I'll never be on the inside of that. Never be on the inside of that. But you know, it's just like, it's adding up. It's adding up. I was, girl, go follow these creators and see what else is going on with her. Because it seemed like it was a lot. But I really like her hair. That was cute. I like that cut. Cute. I had to go out of town for work. And I was gone for a total of like, I want to say like eight months at the time. Obviously, I didn't want to pay for my rent whenever I was gone, so I decided to get a sublet. Like, just disclaimer, I'm not blaming her for this. This could not have anything to do with her, but I'm just stating what I know. So, anyway. So, there's weird energy. I'm trying to just ignore it for the most part and not really think much of it, but I am, you know... I am very sensitive to energies and very sensitive to spirits and stuff like that. So have been for a while, but I haven't ever felt anything in my house. Um, I've only, you know, it's only been like weird experiences out in the world. But anyway, get back. It just feels weird. Like there's just something off about the entire apartment <laughs> but mainly the main part where something's off is in my living room i don't know but like on that side of the house it just feels dark and i couldn't figure out why or still don't really know why i started looking at my cameras in the apartment just to see if there was anything weird or like off that was happening or you know just like the basic paranormal things you would look for of like things moving or like voices or whatever and I was back for probably like mm, I don't know I was back for probably like three months maybe four and there was one time where I was talking to my dog and I had just given her a treat she was eating and I didn't hear anything while filming her eating her little carrot and I played it back there was a moment where she just stops completely and stares right next to me like someone was there which she's been doing more and more since we've gotten back to the apartment I think that's when I asked her like is it good just to get her to like you know distract her and in the video when I watched it back, I heard a whisper and I listened to it over and over again. And to, I, I don't wanna like put out what I think it says. I kinda want you to listen and like let me know what you think it says, but I have my opinions and I'll share in the comments. Um, but same day, I'm going to get ready for work. And this is maybe like, less than an hour after the video. So I'm already like, you know, hyper aware of something going on. So I started getting ready and I'm in my room doing my makeup and like thought I hear things, but of course I feel like I'm being paranoid at this point. There's this one point where I'm getting ready and I swear I heard something and honestly, I'm just so curious at what's going on in my apartment at this point that I'm like, let's go to, back to the security cameras. Let's see what we can see or hear what we can hear and then just kind of like go from there. Like maybe it's nothing. Maybe it was just like a one and done, but like, no, I feel like this thing wanted my attention. I decide to wait to like watch anything back until I'm out of the apartment and I'm like in my car, headed to work, whatever. And so I get in my car and I put my phone on, you know, to the car trying to figure out like what we can hear through the car speakers. Um, I start playing it and like everything's like normal, fine. You can hear me kind of like fumbling around um, in the back, but it's nothing like 
I'm not talking, there's no voices. Um, I'm not talking to anyone, I'm not on the phone, nothing. I'm listening and I'm driving along and I'm like, all of a sudden, and it was like unmistaken, I hear a woman's voice say something. And again, I don't wanna put it in your head of like what it is. So I would rather like you just let me know in the comments if like what you hear for both of these videos. I've dealt with spirits before, but I've never had to like get them out of where I live. And so this was like, this was new for me, new territory. So I, you know, post it and I'm like, friends, help. I think there's a spirit and I don't know if it's a happy one in my apartment. So, you know, I'm getting comments and like multiple people were like, get some sage, which luckily I already had, walk around the house, just let this spirit entity, whatever you want to call it, let it know that it's your home and you have to like tell it to get out. And so I look like a crazy person doing this in my apartment. So since I had staged it, I haven't really heard anything since, but like, I still feel a presence. Like one of my best friends stays over a lot and they'll sleep on the couch. And he was saying like, he f could feel in the middle of the night, like something there. And he was like, I was up almost all night, like, or in, he was like, I was in and out of sleep all night trying to figure out like what's going on. I didn't tell him about this because I didn't want to freak him out. And then whenever he said it, I was like, okay. I feel like at this point, I'm just kind of living with whatever it is. As long as it stays neutral, we're good. Like I can coexist with whatever it is. I feel like since then it's been better, but I definitely still feel it. It you know, feels a little weird every now and then, a little dark every now and then, but as a whole, it does feel better. Anyway, I'm gonna put the video up next, so let me know. Isn't it good? didn't hear the first one did not hear the first one because it wasn't long enough she was she made it seem like it was gonna be a dramatic my eyes watered a little bit i don't like that i don't like that let me get myself together because i don't like that i don't like it she made it seem like it was a long drawn out dramatic pause it was just like the puppy was like mm -hmm. i'm gonna go back to eating honey mm -mm. Uh-uh, I need you guys to get some better friends because ain't no way I'm going to pop up at somebody's house spending the night and you know something I don't know about your apartment that might just affect, not even might, it is going to affect you. <laughs> and like, Honey, no, don't you sit in my face and be like, oh, really? Listen to me tell you what's going on. You just over there, uh-huh, yeah. No, tell me what you know. Let's share information. Let's share notes. Let's compare. Let's compare. Cause what are we doing? Get better friends. Get better. In fact, be a loner. Be a Virgo. <laughs> be a Virgo. Stay in your house. Stay in your house. In your Auburn. You know what's going on in your house. Girl, bye. You said that you just going to live with it. You just going to be neutral. Ain't nothing living in my house, honey, that's not paying rent, honey. Like, what are you doing? When do you get paid? It's the first of the month, honey. What bill you about to take over? None? Because you ain't got no money? Ghost money is not good here. You can't stay here. Stop it. You're playing games. You need to ugh, get it together. Get it together. Because I thought I felt a little something when in the video, but maybe I, I was just... It was all in my head because I was just like, this can't be the same apartment. And then she's like, oh, no, yeah, it's this one. We're still here. No, stop. What did y'all hear? Did y'all hear something that first, the first video with the little puppy? Did y'all hear anything? We know what we heard the second time because it, it flashed on the screen. We heard that. It was like they knew we was watching. 
They knew. Mm -mm, nope, stop. The amount of stories I can honestly sit here and tell y'all is disgusting. So to keep it short, I'm just gonna tell you about the story that really set everything off. So when I was five, me and my family moved to a new house. The house was really nice. It was a three-story house, really big, really nice. We moved in fine. We like unpacked, like everything was good at first, at first. So one night my mom is in the kitchen cooking and she basically like yells for me to go and tell my siblings it's time to come and eat dinner. So my brother's rooms were on the third floor and I wasn't allowed to go up there without their permission or my mom's permission. So when I went to tell them, I'm like standing at the landing and like I'm staring up the steps to the third floor. And it was so weird. There's 14 steps. I don't know why I remember that. I used to count steps. I don't know. But yeah, there's 14 steps. So it's a long staircase, but above the staircase, it's like a hallway. So it's the wall straight up, like straight up the staircase, you're looking at the wall. Then when you turn, there's a room right here you come down the hallway, there's another room at that other end of the hallway. I hope that makes sense. Mind you, there are no windows in this hallway. <laughs> Keep that in mind. There are no windows close enough in the rooms to reflect the hallway. It's gonna make sense soon. <laughs> so I go to like yell for them, like, mommy said come eat. And I like stop mid-sentence because I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at. So I'm seeing like a silhouette, like I'm seeing like a shadow on the wall but it's of like a woman and like she's standing like sideways and her hair is like flowing in the wind. She has like this long like nightgown on like because of the length of it, I could tell like it was like a nightgown. It came all the way down and it was just like flowing in the wind. And like, mind you, there are no windows. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm seeing this. I don't know where it's coming from. Like, I'm just seeing her and she's just like standing there and then she just like falls. Like, just like, mind you, I've seen her sideways. So it just looks like she's just like, so at this point, I go mute. <laughs> I go mute and basically I just like turn around and go right back downstairs and tell my mom. <laughs> so I guess my mom like asked the neighbors and like people in the neighborhood like what happened in the house, like stuff like that. And at first like nobody was trying to tell her nothing. Like it gave like they knew something, but they didn't want to say anything. Like it was just like a you don't want to know type vibe. Very weird, but yeah. So somebody essentially tells her like, oh, somebody died in the house. And they like tell her the story or whatever. Y'all, why did they tell her? Somebody committed suicide on the, like a woman committed suicide on the third floor out of the window. So I'm guessing like I saw her reenacting her committing suicide. And now that I'm thinking about it, well, I didn't really see nobody pushing her, but somebody could have pushed her. She could have been trying to get me to like solve the case. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know why I saw it. I really don't. But yeah, I saw that. And then my mom found out she committed suicide. And it's crazy because after that, like we found out other people passed away in the house. And like all this strange stuff started happening to us. Like it was, it was a lot going on. Like three of us, mind you, there were six of us. Three of us would see like a black, like shadow figure, like following us around. Like mm. when we would look, it would like duck away. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. We would like try and chase it around corners and like see where it went. And it, there were, nothing would be there. I would like play with my toys. And like, I had like dolls, like Barbie dolls, Brax dolls, all types of different dolls. I would like play with them and come back, like leave and come back. And they would be in different positions. Like somebody else was playing with them. Mind you, I know nobody else is like coming in my room and just playing with my toys. I don't know. <laughs> One time we heard something like, like it sounds like a like I'm not a human, but something like big and like I don't know. But we heard something like crawl through the wall. Like we were about to watch a movie, and as soon as it got like really quiet, something like crawled through the wall. And I'm not talking like through the bottom, like oh it might be a mouse. No, I'm talking top to bottom, crawling through the wall. Like we heard it, <laughs> and I've seen other like spirits, I guess, in the house because I've seen like other people, but. It wasn't the lady that I saw the first time. I had crazy dreams all the time, sleep paralysis all the time. Like it was, it was really a lot going on in the house. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, if y'all want to know more, let me know. Nope, 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 nope. See, it's <laughs> why aren't we doing research? Like, if anything, 
if anything, because they used to have this show called on HGTV, Let Me Sleep On It. Y'all remember that show? I don't know if they still got it. I don't really watch it. No, just lied. I do watch HGTV. I watch HGTV when I'm at the gym every morning, 5 a.m. I'm there watching it. That's what all I watch. That's I'm seeing all the new shows. I'm like, okay. But back in the day, it used to be a show like that where you, ooh, my phone about to die, computer about to die, every day about to die. So electronically, <laughs> electronically stuff is, you know, slowly unaliving. So where on the show you would find a house and the house you would pick you would spend the night there at the house so that's the time you do all your research you find out the streets busy like all the stuff you don't see in the daytime you come and like even now like i feel like that show taught us that hey if you're looking at a house come at night come at night come by the house at night if you even if you're not sleeping on it come to the neighborhood at night. That should have been the time right there before they bought this house where they're scoping. They should have went and go talk to the neighbors. I feel like that should be a requirement to go because I know everybody's like, oh, we move in and then you meet your neighbors? No, you should meet your neighbors before you move because that would make a whole difference. I wish my mind would have met the neighbors. Well, shit. Everybody around here rents. So it wouldn't even matter. People be moving in and out. I feel like if we would have met the neighbors the first time, we, we probably wouldn't have bought this house. But we've had like a lot of neighbors since then. Except the one neighbors over here. They're, they're still here and they're good. They're really good. Those neighbors right there are really good. They mowed the grass with us. Like we share our backyard. Well, it's, ooh, is it our backyard? I guess it's our backyard and it's their side yard. So they'll mow over sometimes into our yard. So I don't have to mow because we have like a little ditch there that just gathers water when it's raining. And we're in North Carolina, so it rains a lot. So it'll just gather this high grass and they have somebody they pay somebody to mow their grass so they'll come over a little bit on my our side so i don't have to mow that a lot high grass and then every once in a while i go on their side like we're really good neighbors honey we're really good neighbors they got a new dog the dog don't poop in our yard like good neighbors love those neighbors and they so that's a lot that's 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 great that's great. So yeah, the other neighbors and then the new neighbors that just moved over there, they're great too. They came to our yard sale and bought up stuff. Just bought it out. They spent like two hundred dollars on our yard sale. Like you need neighbors like that. You need to meet your neighbors. Other neighbors, they aight. We got new neighbors. We had three neighbors. The neighbors we got right now, they aight. They 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 aight. Okay, <laughs> we only had one problem. And so yeah, they the neighbors knew something that they should have told them. Like that other story with the um black family. You remember when she um they moved in, the dad moved in, dad was like, oh no, it ain't happening. The neighbors knew and they tried to tell them. They was like, oh yeah, we saw lights on, and y'all wasn't there yet, and we thought it was y'all. We thought you moved in. So yeah, neighbors knew what is what was up, and it was wrong for them not to say anything. It was wrong for them because if I do so, oh snap, oh snap. Oh snap, we had these neighbors. We lived in a, um, not a duplex, a triplex. We lived in a triplex back in the day when I, before I moved to my school. And upstairs is the way this tri triplex was made. It was two downstairs on the side. And then in the middle, you go up some stairs to get to the rest of the house. They had the whole top half. But in the middle is just stairs leading up to their top half, their stairs. Like they open up their door and they go upstairs and that's their house. And there's two houses on the side and we got the houses on the side because my mom was like, well, they only have one exit. And that's a safety hazard because you have one exit. If the fire is right there by the stairs, keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in mind. So we live downstairs and... We had these neighbors and they had two little girls. It was a, a mom, two little girls and her boyfriend. And I played with the little girls. I think not really because they were really young. And I was like, I was, I was like in fifth grade, I think. Yeah, but that was before I went to middle school. So it was a big age difference. And I didn't really see them that often. But when I saw them, I saw them. So some days, months walked go by and then all of a sudden there's cops and tapes everywhere and it's just crazy and we comes to find out her boyfriend underlies the two little girl babies I, I can't remember if it was a fire I think it was a fire in the in the in the bathtub or fire something happened something happened I cannot remember I believe it was a fire because they had to do construction and everything it was weird but we didn't have to move out or anything it was just weird it was just like an isolated fire and I'm assuming it was right there at the door because it didn't affect us it didn't affect the two apartments on the side so I was just like okay so this happens all right this happens new people move in 
And like for me as a kid, I, I, I would always hear them. Like, cause when they were allowed, they would run up and down the stairs. So after they were um not, that I would still hear running up and down the stairs, running across the ceiling and everything. And I would tell my mom, I was like, I hear kids. I hear kids running, but we know there's no kids there because they're not there anymore. So new people moved in and I did not say anything because everybody was like, it's just in your head, you know? So I, to this day, I asked my mom the other day, honestly, asked my mom the other day, my phone's about to die. Asked my mom the other day, hey, you remember about when we used to live at that place and those kids were on a lie and she's like I don't remember that 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 didn't happen apparently she doesn't remember that so I was like okay cool google google fuck google bing bigging it bigging it looking for it nothing nothing type in the address nothing is nowhere to be found now I'm just maybe maybe it's because there was babies babies like they wouldn't have but nothing but I know for a fact that happened I know for a fact I heard that but nobody remembers it but me but I was in the wrong for not telling my neighbors. I should have told my neighbors, but uh, apparently it was all in my head. But I should have told my neighbors anyway. Still, I, I know they probably look at me like oh, I was crazy. But if her neighbors would have spoke up, just maybe they wouldn't have been in that situation because they knew what was happening. Honey, no, I saw that shadow. Oh hell no, she did the right thing. She turned right around. Like nope, stop it. I had to change my angle so I can charge my phone so I can put this last little bit in there. I got two. Oh my one percent. Um, okay, um, 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 Shadow, not cool, would not have been, um, nope, not for, would have moved, they stayed, they stayed and had more stuff happening to them, nope, would not be me, what else happened, I'm trying to remember, I'm under, I'm under pressure, I'm under pressure, um, 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 yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you saw the video, yeah, follow me to die, um, subscribe, yeah. <laughs>